And John Sue, I'd like to note that even though the Buddha would say that form and feeling and perceptions, thought fabrications and consciousness are, are not self, our six senses are not self. But then he goes on to say, but we have actions as our own. We're the owners of our actions. See, that's important. There are a lot of things we have to let go of in life. But there are certain things we have to hold on to as important principles. We want to hold on to good actions, because those are our treasures. We have to be very careful about them. Other things you let go, let go. But when you do something, then it follows you around. So what do you want to have following you? The Buddha gives an example. He says it's either like having a shadow following you, which is light. You don't have to carry it around. It doesn't lay, place any weight on you. It doesn't create any problems. Or you can be carrying a, a cart behind you, pulling a cart, which is heavy. Your good actions are like the shadow. The unskillful actions are like the cart. They're going to follow you. No matter how much you try to let them go, they're going to keep following you. So you might as well make them good. Because no one else can replace your actions with their actions. They can't take the cart off of you. You're the one who has to make sure that you're making just a shadow, something light, something that doesn't create any trouble at all. This is your main responsibility. In that passage where Venerable Ratabala is talking to the king, Gauravya, they ask him, the world has nothing of its own. The king asks, what does that mean? I have lots of storehouses. And Ratabala asks him, can you take that with you when you die? And even the king, who was not all that advanced in the Dharma, realized that he had to leave his material things behind and go on in line with his karma. So your karma not only follows you, but also paves the way. So you want to make sure your way is well paved, smoothly paved. And you have it within your power to do that. When the Buddha talks about the different kinds of loss that we can suffer in life, there are three kinds, he says, that are not important. Loss of wealth, loss of health, loss in terms of our relatives. Because that kind of loss, he says, doesn't take you to a bad destination. And besides, it's going to happen anyhow, at some point or another. Whereas the other two kinds of loss, loss of virtue, loss of your right views, that doesn't have to happen. And nobody can take those things away from you. You're the one who leaves them. But if you don't leave them, they're yours. So focus on the things that really are yours. Make sure they're good, in good shape. That's where you can be responsible, and that's where you can provide for yourself for a long time to come. Because these principles of virtue and right view not only guarantee a good destination, but also a good life together. As the Buddha said, the basis for harmony in any community is that you have virtue in line with the virtues of the noble ones, and views in line with right views. If everyone sticks to these two things, there's harmony wherever you go. So focus on what's yours. As for what's not yours, use it as necessary and then let it go. That way you don't throw away anything good, and you're keeping only the things that will be good for you, things that will be light, things that provide you no, with no burdens as you carry them around. <laughs>